Good morning, God and Glam family. This morning we're doing things a little bit differently. So if you're just joining us, we have had some really significant internet issues since the move. I have literally a thousand megabytes per second and for some reason we're still getting a ton of buffering, which means the live has not been working really well. So I'm doing this differently and then I'm just recording it and then I'm uploading it so you guys can see it and get an update. I spent four hours troubleshooting yesterday and still have not found a solution. Shout out to Leslie for helping me and a lot of you guys jumped on because we did three live stream tests yesterday. So I'm still working through it, but I wanted to come on and say hi and talk a little bit about uh, the upcoming readings. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a hiatus for kind of today and tomorrow, Saturday, and pick up on Monday to give me more time to uh, spend uh, with Comcast. I've spent 12 hours on the phone with them so far since I've moved. So um, yeah, it's been a lot. It's been like a part-time job just trying to get the internet uh, going. So if you guys could uh, pray for that. That would be amazing because I'm definitely falling behind in like other areas of my life, <laughs> like work. So um, I'm going to keep going hard because obviously I love this live stream and don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Starting my morning with you has been just so such a beautiful um, addition to my life and such a welcome change for 2020, which is really like getting God and Glam to the place that I always wanted it to be, um, of course, with all of your incredible support. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a knee till Monday um, while I get this figured out. And um, I changed the reading a little bit. I did this morning's reading. And so instead of doing um, 2 Corinthians 5.20 through 6.13, we're gonna do 5.11 through 6.13. So 2 Corinthians 5.11, 6.13, Oh my gosh, 2 Corinthians 5.11 through 6.13 on Monday is what we'll go over. But um, I do have a few things for you this morning, so don't worry, you're not going to leave empty-handed. But um, so talking about Lent, you know, we've been talking so much about what it means and how what we are going into it to get besides, you know, a, a closer relationship to God, a healed relationship with God is is also freedom, which goes hand in hand. So we started talking about this with trans the transfiguration, right? We talked about how all of Lent really is this beautiful contrast between suffering and glory or self-sacrifice is the way I prefer to say it because suffering sounds very just dark. Um, so, you know, self-sacrifice and glory. So when we're thinking about Lent, we're thinking about what areas of my life do I need to get more free, right? Just to recap. So this upcoming week's readings is the theme is discipline. And it's really about the ways that discipline lead to freedom. So when you're, when you're reading this week's readings and all of the Lent readings, that's what we're thinking about. So it's about, right, quieting kind of the noise in our lives and turning up God's voice in our lives. So it's like turn down or down the, you know, the things that are kind of holding us captive from the life, from a full life in Christ, from a full life period, and turning up the voice of God so we can kind of see the ways that we need to experience more freedom and the things that we need to change, the narratives we need to change. So that's what I want you guys to think about when you're reading this week's readings, especially, um, it gets pretty heavy in terms of, um, you know, like it's a, it's a bit of, we're going to talk, we're going to read Genesis three after that, which is like the fall. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be kind of a lot, but I know that we're all up for the challenge and I just appreciate all of you so much that are just here to be, be transformed, you know, which sounds really lofty, but I think that's what we're all looking for. That's like what I am looking for always in my life is, you know, like, how can I, like, we get one shot here, right? Like, how can I do this right and not miss any of it? I want to share with you something that my business coach shared with me um, that really is something that's been on my mind, like, day and night. So I have these like six month reviews with her and she kind of goes over like what's going to be going on in the next six months of my life. And she does it from like a astrological perspective, but she's also a business coach and um, her day job is venture capital. So, um, she works with startups all day, every day and, um, or, you know, small business owners like me. So she, uh, was, she said, ruthless self care will lead you to your destiny, right? That's going to lead me to my next era. So where I need to be more disciplined, and I hope this gives you some ideas, um, is I need to be more disciplined in the area of self-care. And I feel like self-care has been really like misused a little bit and that like self-care is often categorized as like bubble baths and chocolate cake. And like that of course can be self-care. But for me, 
how it plays out in my life is that I put like my own needs on hold for the needs of my business or the needs of my customers because I am just so committed to paper and glam, right? It's like my baby. It's like my, my child. It is my child. So I like, I kind of almost forget myself as a person. Does that make sense? Uh, because I just always want to run like a super tight ship and like get everyone their glam and as fast as possible. And like, um, you know, keep growing the business and all of these things. And my life right now I've been talking about is like, you know, it's like Ikea furniture that needs to be disassembled and like the parts are just like all over the floor. And I'm like, wait, I don't know where all this stuff goes. So I have like, I'm having a ton of turnover in my team. Of course, I just moved back to my hometown. So I'm like reassembling a life and um, like all the routines that go along with that. So I know that it's, it's similar to this line I love in a Casting Crown song that says, your world's not falling apart, it's falling into place. And it's, it's really like just a huge restructure. So I need to figure out how to um, really self-care in like the midst of the things that are going on. Like as an example, um, like since I've moved, I've literally been going nonstop. Yesterday was the first day after just like four hours of troubleshooting the live stream. I literally just like went in my backyard and laid in the sun. And it was like the first time I really had stopped to like enjoy my house. I don't get me wrong. I've been enjoying it, but like while doing things, right? I've been working like 16 hour days since I moved. I haven't taken any time off. And I was just like, wow, this is, this is amazing. Like I hadn't taken a chance to like soak it in. I ended up like sleeping for most of the day and like all through the night, I literally slept for like 14 hours. And um, like, that's an example of I just kind of like wear myself into the ground until like I literally can't go anymore. And then, um, and then I like, I'm like forced to stop, you know what I mean? So I need to get out of that pattern. Like I need to, like that she's well saying, but I need to put my own oxygen mask on first. And part of that is like, I just have this huge vision for paper and glam and there's so much that I want to do with you guys. And so much I just, I'm just so like motivated to do, to bring this huge vision to life. But, um, because of that, I'm actually like slowing it down because I'm not, I'm not caring for myself. So, um, I never skimp on sleep just to be clear, but I do skimp on rest, which is really different, right? Sleep is not the same as rest. Sleep is sleep. Rest is like, just like letting your soul breathe, right? Doing things that don't have a purpose, um, play, right? Like just literally like being a human being and not a human doing. So that's how I really need to work on, on discipline in my life. And, um, I hope it gives you some ideas of how you might need to um, be more free. So I have a feeling uh, ruthless self-care is probably one of the things that will lead all of us into our destiny and into our our future, into our next era, which we're all kind of beginning together. So um, we're going to pick up on Monday again with the Second Corinthians reading. I'm going to set up the live stream so you can set a reminder right now. Thank you guys so much for... Um, hanging with me and hanging with kind of the bumpy ride that has been this relocation. But um, like Kristen, you reminded me yesterday and like we talked about um, in the Paper and Glam podcast, which is linked below, you know, like when we encounter a lot of resistance, it's usually because we're really close to, um, it's really close to our future, we're really close to the things God has for us. You know, it's like that saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. I really think that's true. And um, that's really true from a seasonal living perspective too. Like we're in terms of like spring, right? It's always, it always seems like we get like a massive storm or like if, if you're in Napa or you're in Northern California, we get like tons and tons of rain. Like it's going to rain for the next 10 days, um, which is great because we really need it. But it's always like extra winter right before the spring like bursts into life. And um, yeah, that's true for us spiritually and in our lives as well. So, um, with that, my sweet paper and glam family, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Friday and a beautiful weekend. And I will be back with you Monday and, um, praise up for this internet thing, because I really like doing this live with you. If for any reason, I'm not going to say if, because we're going to get this figured out, but like worst case, I'll just have to do it this way, which is how I started doing God and glam, which is I would record it and then I would upload it. That just means I have to get up at five to like make that all come together, which is obviously not ideal. I'd rather keep to a civilized hour of six, but, um, we're gonna, we're not gonna, don't worry, God and I'm not gonna go anywhere. So, um, I'm gonna be here clamming so hard. So, all right, God bless you guys. I love you and um, I'll see you soon.